NS has become a universal rite of passage for every male citizen, regardless of race, religion, or social background. During NS, everyone stands on an equal footing. We live, eat, and train together. We overcome challenges as one unit and help one another along. We forge enduring friendships and camaraderie through shared trials and tribulations. As Dr. Goking Sui said in 1967, nothing creates loyalty and national consciousness more speedily and more thoroughly than participation in defense and membership of the armed forces. The nation-building aspect of defense will be more significant if its participation is spread over all strata of society. And indeed, we have made NS a national institution and a defining part of the Singapore identity. I was just looking through a book which some overseas Singaporeans sent me. It's a group in Seattle, in the United States. They were celebrating National Day this year. And they organized a booklet, Reminiscences and Pictures, by 10 Singaporeans who are now living, working, or studying in Seattle, and with pictures of their experiences. And so many of the men had as their defining experience the NS two years. Whether it was in an armor unit, whether it was in the commandos, or whether, in one case, a regular who served with pride, all of them. And now, overseas, asked to remember Singapore home. This was what it was. So that's why we all owe a huge debt to our NS men. You've served faithfully. Despite the demands of your careers and families, you embody our never-say-die spirit and our resolve to protect Singapore, whatever the cost. We will recognize the valuable contributions of NS men. I was glad that this year's National Day Parade here on this floating platform was commanded by an NS man, Lieutenant Colonel Clarence Stan. And the parade included a special salute to NS-45 tribute. And the soldiers came through and marched through the crowd. They are part of the people. We've introduced fiscal schemes, such as the NS man Tax Relief and the National Service Recognition Award. We've built recreational facilities for you and your families. There are currently five Safra clubhouses and six home team NS clubhouses across the island. We will complete a sixth Safra clubhouse in Pongol by 2015, and the home team NS will have a new clubhouse in Tampinis a year later, 2016. We are doing more. I'm happy to announce that to commemorate the 45th anniversary of national service, all NS men will receive vouchers to enjoy a movie or a meal with your family and friends. And in addition, operationally ready NS men who are currently serving out their cycles, as well as NS men who have already completed their cycles, will receive a year's free membership to SAFRA or Home Team NS. It's a small Hong Pao, but the Hong Pao will cost us $100 million and will benefit 900,000 plus NS men. These gestures will never fully compensate for your personal sacrifices, but I hope they help to express our appreciation for all that you have done. Our commitment to protecting Singapore has won us 45 years of peace and stability. Fortunately, we've not, had, we've not had to fight a war. But this is not a matter of luck. The SAF, by its very existence and capabilities, has contributed to the stable and peaceful security environment in this region and helped us to maintain friendly relations with our neighbours. Our home team has protected us against unconventional threats like extremist terrorism and put would-be perpetrators away before they could do us harm. Looking ahead, 
I'm cautiously optimistic that the region will remain peaceful. One key factor is relations between the US and China. We must expect that they'll have problems, frictions and tensions arising from time to time between these two countries. But both Chinese and American leaders recognize how interdependent their two countries have become, and I believe they will strive hard to manage relations and avoid jeopardizing their shared interests. In Asia, countries are trading, investing, interacting more and more with one another. But there are also tensions in the region. Some ASEAN members have exchanged fire over territorial disputes. Tensions are brewing in the South China Sea and the East China Sea, also because of territorial disputes. North Korea remains a potential security flashpoint. In addition, we must always be prepared for emerging and unconventional threats, especially extremist terrorism, which remains a real danger. Therefore, we cannot take our present peace and stability for granted. We must continue to build and maintain a committed, competent and vigilant SAF and home team. We must upgrade our capabilities steadily, year by year, quietly but in a sustainable and affordable way. We must help younger generations of Singaporeans who have grown up in a more stable and affluent environment to understand these strategic realities and prepare them for their part in defending Singapore, our home. We must also strengthen total defence. Every Singaporean must be committed to the defence of Singapore, whether it's military defence, civil defence, like economic, social or psychological defence. NS is ultimately about safeguarding our homes, our loved ones, and our freedom to choose our own way of life. It's a personal duty which generations of NS men have fulfilled and which every new generation must take up. As we celebrate the first 45 years of NS, let's also reaffirm our commitment to national service and a strong SAF and home team. Let every one of us continue to do our duty so that we can preserve the peace and prosperity we enjoy today for many years to come. Thank you very much.